mafia is about organized crime. That doesn't necessarily mean about Italian organized crime. Mafia has done two games in that mold before, and for us as a studio, it was interesting to just do something a bit different. I've been in love with the game since the day we decided it was 1968 and our version of New Orleans. You're a mixed race protagonist who's just back from Vietnam. I feel like we've been allowed to do things and write things that I never thought we'd be able to write in a video game. But at its core, you know, this is a crime story. The people that are worried that we are just ignoring Mafia 2, that couldn't be farther from the truth. I don't want to let the fans of the franchise know. We do have a structure that is innovative and allows the player to figure out how they want to approach tearing down the Italian mob and then rebuilding the new mob in its place. It ties into the theme, just killing the monster, make you the monster. But I'm really excited about players sitting down going, man, this thing happened between me and Vito. Did it happen to you? The fact that I actually really, really want to play it every day, that's an enormously positive sign. Every day I come to work, it's like a kid in a candy store. It's totally unique, right, in the industry to be able to build the studio that we want to build, to be able to build the game we want to build. I think this is going to be a really unique game. There are people that are worried because we've changed the race of the protagonist and give us the benefit of the doubt, and I see this as an opportunity. We're onto a good thing. This is ours to lose at this point. If Mafia 3 is an enormous success, I don't know him being called the Mafia Studio, you know, like that's a, that's a good thing for me. You know, we're really, really passionate about Mafia and we're really enjoying making it, so no, I'm fine with that.